Yo, what's up guys, my name is Angel King and welcome back to the channel. Now, uh, we're uh, continuing the uh, Foldable Shield, this is part 2 to the Foldable Shield, and a little bit of other stuff. Yes, got the hot glue gun already and such. And so basically what we do is basically we uh, add the pieces on, we use a lot of hot glue because we want this thing to be secure. And I go through a lot of hot glue sticks, like the bag that I had for this was like a bag full of like a hundred and fifty eight glue sticks and now I believe I'm down to 30 and yeah around 30 I think this is a little bit more than 30 but I don't know I'll check on that later and yes we give it a little good press and we make sure that there's no excess like that and I'm probably just gonna go over that with some duct tape to make it look a little bit more authentic and a little bit more rugged of course uh, you'll see that, see later in the video, uh, me, I didn't actually get a lot of the footage of me painting the actual, um, the th freaking thing. So, I, I honestly got a little bit mad at myself because I was like, I wanted to film myself painting this, but it didn't happen. But anyways, it's totally fine. Anyways, so, basically, I wanted at least three inches of the of the joints to be showing and the rest of the cardboard I didn't really it really didn't matter and yes I did have to go over an exacto knife get my exacto knife and go over some stuff to cut off some of uh, the edges that were a little bit more show showing off and honestly it was a long and painful process I gotta admit but this was actually really fun to make and I absolutely love this one actually because it's like, it's how you say, uh, feels right. Because the first one I made, I didn't do any measurements. I just cut one piece of cardboard and just went off of that. And with this one, I actually did measurements. And so basically like the base was, the top part, it was, the length was two feet and the width was two or nine, nine inches. And basically for the rest, it was 20 inches of width, 20 inches length and uh, 9 inches length, so yeah. And uh, with the top joint, I actually had to adjust it and make the top joint into, um, friggin, what was it? Yeah, um, 5, no, 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 4, 4 inches. And honestly, that worked a lot better, and now it actually does look a little bit more rugged than I thought it would. So yeah, this is really awesome. Um, anyways, I absolutely love this shield, and uh, you see those little dents right there? Uh, yeah, those are the parts I'm going to be covering up with duct tape, and that part fell. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, what I did with this is that I... First painted it with some uh, gray, with some gray paint that goes onto stuff like wood. Okay, camera, let's get back, back into it. And I went over it with gray paint, and then like I bought the wrong paint, which is like this glossy black paint. But I sort of put it onto my freaking thing, and yeah, so there's me showing that <laughs> everything will be fine. I, we're just gonna put the uh, friggin' duct tape over those holes to make it give it a more authentic look. Of course, this shield I uh, didn't base it off of anything really. I sort of this is a shield for my uh, original character, R6 character, may I also say, uh, who is named Pirate. I know we already have have a uh, pirate in there, Blackbeard, but this one is actually called the Pi or uh, Pirate as a code name. And this is the special ability, which is basically a foldable shield. So, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, we already got these three done. And yeah, anyway. Hey guys. So, this is it complete guys, so, with the great Oh, paint, listen, I did finish up the. Go over it with some the, gloss. Um, uh, shield. Uh, and yes, and I did. Paint. To give it more of a. Make that. Of a authentic, um, rugged look. Well, so, yeah. Well, I did. Anyway. What I did, I did was I did paint to, uh, go all of this, this a couple of times with the this, um, gray paint. But yeah, this, this is color the I used, and this is the type of paint that I use. Uh, paint, paint. Uh, finisher. Finisher. And honestly, I I like this one. Kensington uh, gray. Ken 
convincing. I think that's actually a pretty good gray. name for it. And but yeah, I and with absolutely the shield, fell in I, love with the color. I, I made absolutely all, love it. Made it. I so, put yeah. good Anyways, color on it. Also, if you didn't after know this, this is going to be the mask dries of up the pirate. And everything like that. I'm gonna uh, hit it with some glue anything in. And some of this, this stuff. Is the stuff this, that this, I'm uh, acrylic go latex, over with, the gloss, gloss black. black, gloss black. And at right? first, I didn't think it would so really it work out that well because of this mask here. Here, yeah, like um, you see, it's not exactly uh, it's going good, but I think it with actually shield, which is looks a little mask, bit better. So, yeah, because like, Anyways, I think this like, looks, it looks a bit cool. like I drew this, you know, a rustic long time ago, and, and like, I thought it looked absolutely that was actually amazing. painted onto metal. So yeah, so I really like this. Absolutely if I'm love being it. Honest here. And yeah, this is how it looks. I know it's a little bit big, but I got a big ass head, so <laughs> this is perfect. Uh, mind the junk in the back, by the way. This is in my garage so there's a lot of stuff that i still that me and my parents still haven't gone through yet so yeah yeah anyway so i'm gonna put this back down and yeah this is honestly going to be an awesome shield i'm gonna splash some of this red gloss to give it more of a like give it some blood to give it like a blade look so yeah anyways i hope y'all stay around for that and i hope y'all are enjoying this so yeah Hey guys, so as you saw it back there, uh, there is actually a vaccine going around for the coronavirus. And, you know, that's great. We're getting out of 2020, the, the worst year ever, and going into 2021. So that's really great. And I absolutely love it. And honestly, I hope you are... I love the growth that I have made during this time. Like... And I hope y'all are enjoying your own personal growth. Like, check it out. Like, this is all the paper and drawings I did during the, my time in COVID. Most of them were filmed and most of them weren't. But anyways, we'll get back to that later. I'm probably going to make a book out of that, I hope. Anyways, yeah. And there's the mask all finishing with dry and with the elastic on. So, yeah. Hmm. 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 Don't I look like a criminal? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I absolutely love this. Anyways, I the growth that we made, the things that we've been through, like, honestly, it has been the worst year ever, to be honest, but it has been a year that I hope we won't forget because we need to unite now in 2021 and be one as people. So, yeah, anyways. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also, comment, share, and I hope to see you all later in 2021. And if you don't mind, me and you, would you take my hand and join me in the new, new year of 2021? Thank you very much, and I hope to see you all in the new year. Goodbye.